Welcome to our demonstration on how to use Quick Quotes. Today I'm going to show you how to create and manage a Quick Quote and how a participant will complete a Quick Quote. In order to show you this, I'm first going to go to the sand pit. The sand pit is our test environment where you can try things out before inviting real suppliers. Inside the sand pit, you can create a new event and then switch to acting as a participant here in the top right corner. This means you have the ability to work through the process from both sides. For new users, we strongly recommend practicing in the sand pit before creating your first event in the live site. From the dashboard, we can access quick quotes by clicking on the button at the top of the page. When we first arrive in the quick quotes module, we see our list of existing quotes. If we had no quotes, we would instead see the new quote page. On the new quote page, we see a number of text boxes containing advice. This information is provided by your business and should be read carefully before setting up a quick quote. Now let's create a quick quote. This requires a name, a deadline, and a brief. Your brief should include all the information you would generally provide for suppliers if requesting a quote by email. This will include details on the goods or services you're looking to purchase, deadlines, locations, and any other important information. Your deadline might be in two days or two weeks, depending on the urgency of the requirement. We then have the opportunity to upload documents. Again, anything you would generally send to your suppliers as an attachment can be included here. This might be T's and C's, an NDA, or your product specifications. Next, we have two options, getting pricing and asking questions. To include each of these, tick the relevant box. Remember that these are optional though. For example, if you only want to ask for pricing, leave the questionnaire box unticked. Each price request requires a name describing the requirement and a unit of measure, such as each if you're looking for pricing per item, ton for pricing per weight, or box of six if that's how the item comes. You will also state the quantity you're looking to purchase. Next, we can ask the supplier some questions. The answers to these may be yes, no, free text, or an uploaded document. For example, you may wish to ask about lead time or require the supplier to agree to your T's and C's. We now need to invite some suppliers. As we're in the sand pit, at this point, we can invite only our three sand pit companies. However, in the live site, we would see this. The option to invite either a predefined group or any supplier by their email. Once the supplier details are completed, we click on Get Quotes to invite our participants. This will send the suppliers an email with a link to the quick quote. I'm now going to switch to a supplier view to show you what they'll see. After clicking on the email link, the participant will see the invitation, select the event, and accept it. The first thing your suppliers will see when accessing the event is the brief you provided, as well as your contact details and a breakdown of the process. If you've asked your suppliers to answer questions, this will be the first section they need to complete. All questions are mandatory in order for the quote to be considered valid. Once the questions are answered, the participant may then move on to bid in the RFQ by clicking on the Place Bid button, adding their quote, and then clicking on Submit. Once the pricing has been provided, from the supplier's perspective, all tasks are complete. At any time, including after having submitted their bid, a participant may send a message to the host. These are often questions or clarifications. They can access the documents you've attached here in the document section, as well as any documents that they've uploaded. I'll now return to the host view 
to show you how the supplier responses will be displayed. Once the quote request has been sent to the suppliers, you will see all the important details regarding your event on this screen. This includes the brief, your messages, and most importantly, the supplier responses. The summary gives you a quick overview of each of your lots with details of the best bid value and which supplier has provided this. Here you can quickly see which supplier has placed the best bid for each item. The participant list gives us much more detail. We can see each supplier's question responses next to one another, as well as each supplier's bids. This is designed to make it easy for you to compare all quotes and answers to make your decisions. At any time, we are able to make edits to the quick quote. So if you need to change the deadline, add an item or upload a document at a later stage, just click on the edit button. Once the deadline has passed, you can click on the export report button to analyze your data in Excel. If you'd like, you can also award the business through the tool. Just choose the participant you wish to award the business to, tick the box to send them a message, and update the text you would like to include. You can include a purchase order number if you'd like. Once you're finished, you can send the award notice. And that's it. Hopefully this has shown you how quickly and easily you can complete a quick quote event.